tax justice, an equitable tax system for a educated, healthier and prosperous Pakistan, for a fairer, more inclusive Pakistan. Pakistan and its tax dilemma, why change is necessary. The effects of indirect taxation meet the Hassans. Meet Hassan, a bank employee married to Saira, both parents to two lively children. Despite earning rupees 50,000 a month, income tax of rupees 833 is deducted at source, leaving him with a disposable income of 49,167. The perils of indirect taxation makes it difficult for him to make both ends meet, the effects of which start before he reaches the office. His daily breakfast is hostage to GST and other form indirect taxation. The sugar for this tea produced locally has an 8% federal excise levy applied and GST of 17%. The family consumes rupees 600 worth of sugar every month. These are also a mind-boggling array of taxes on other consumables. Duty of 25%, GST of 17%, value-added tax of 3% and advance income tax of 5.5% on his favorite imported tea and breakfast cereal. A simple upgrade to a new mobile phone worth rupees 7000 exposes Hassan to the following taxes. 20% custom duty rupees 800, 17% sales tax rupees 680, 3.5% value addition rupees 140, 5.5% advance income tax rupees 220, total taxes 1840. The car Hassan drives is an economical 1000cc model purchased for Rs. 1,200,000 on which the taxes come to Rs. 231,500. It does not stop there. Every time he goes to fill up, he pays taxes equivalent of Rs. 27 on each liter of petrol, 17% sales tax plus petroleum levy of Rs. 10. A rupees 500 lunch at the office canteen is also taxed. 17% sales tax of rupees 72 is paid. Hassan has to make time for his children at the weekends. A family dinner may cost him rupees 5000, on which he must pay GST of rupees 726. Meet Saira. She is married to Hassan and is a homemaker. After sending children to the school, Saira takes a taxi to do the daily shopping. A two hours taxi hire using 5 litre petrol cost her approximately rupees 600, on which indirect taxes amount to levy of rupees 50 and GST of 17%, total rupees 90.78. Once in a while, she invites her friends to her home. Tea and other items she served cost her rupees 900, on which rupees 153 can be classified as tax. Saira occasionally takes the kids out for an after school treat. A value meal at the fast food outlet puts her back rupees 750 of 17%, of which rupees 109 goes in taxes. 
The dilemma of indirect taxation is making the cost of day-to-day -day really hard for Hassan, and he runs out of money before even the end of the month. Here is a quick view of his earning and taxes he pays. Indirect taxation is making Pakistan's poor and middle-class citizens suffer while making the rich even richer. Pakistan's tax net needs to be expanded and made fairer so the state can provide for the basic needs of its citizens. Better education, better health and a better, more inclusive society.